Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with my review of AirPods Pro, and they're officially available today. I've been lucky enough to use them for the past couple. This is the biggest question, are these guys worth it? And we'll start with price because that's where the biggest discussion is. These guys come in at $200 and $50 or $329 Canadian, $399 Australian, depending on where you live, they are the priciest headphones that Apple has to offer and they are definitely tough to decide if they're worth that money. So let's start off with the key differences between of course Gen 1 and Gen 2. AirPods 2s, I'm gonna call those the OGs, those come in at 159, that's without the wireless charging case, 199 with it, and that just gets you a little LED, you can charge them wirelessly, I wouldn't recommend those. AirPods Pros, $250, and when you compare the size of the casing, you can see this guy just looks a bit more squished. They are pretty much identical though. They do charge their AirPods respectively, which kind of leads me to my first point about my unboxing experience. They don't come with an actual charging brick. They only come with a lightning to USB-C cable no charging brick. So that means unless you have a MacBook with a USB-C cable, an iPhone 11 Pro, an iPad Pro, you will have to buy a separate dongle. Say you bought the shiny new iPhone 11, this dongle inside of here won't work with this cable. And that is the biggest shame. For 250 bucks, we should have got a charging brick inside. That out of the way, are they a big upgrade from the OG AirPods? And the simple answer is yes. Sound quality through all of the ranges sound better. You definitely notice way more bass on the pros. The active noise canceling that these guys achieve for being in-ear headphones is actually quite impressive and you need the silicone to create the seal inside your ears. Like I mentioned in my unboxing, there is a test to determine which size silicone tips that you'll choose. I was lucky enough to have the mediums, those come pre-installed, and I do know people complain about the OG AirPods, that they don't fit properly. I am blessed, genetically superior, to have perfect size ears. These do not fall out, but I know a ton of my friends have mentioned that these things don't fit into your ears. The AirPod Pros should solve that from having the different sizing of silicone. I know they'll collect way more gunk, just be aware when you do share them. If you really need, you can always take these off, wash them, and I know that Apple does sell them individually in case you do lose them. Hopefully they don't cost too much money. And the fit of the AirPod Pros is surprisingly good. Once you do find that silicone tip that matches your ear, they feel very snug. I did work out with them last night and I was in no way scared that they would fall out. They're secure. And because the majority of the actual AirPod is inside your ear, they actually look better than the OG AirPods. They don't have as long of a stem. Keep in mind for peeps that are active, the pros have the official IPX rating, so they are water resistant. I have though worked out every single day with my OG AirPods. I've sweat a ton and I've never had an issue. So I wouldn't be too worried. Obviously you're not gonna go swimming with these guys. When it comes down to it, are the pros worth it? And I think if you already have the OG AirPods, you've already spent close to 200 bucks, you don't need to upgrade. You've got all the benefits of hands-free calling, and unless these guys don't fit you properly, you truly need active noise canceling, that's when you can look towards the pros. Now that's out of the way, you're probably wondering how do these stack up against dedicated active noise canceling cans that are over the ear. I've got the Sony WH-1000 Mark III's, I've also got my Bose's. And I use these guys every single time that I fly. I do not think that AirPod Pros are better, but you have to remember they are very different things. Look at the size of say a pair of cans. These things are huge. That's what she said. <laughs> remember that these guys are just in-ear headphones. The noise canceling on my Sony or Boses are better. Naturally, the sound quality is way better. Look at the size of the drivers compared to these dinky AirPods. They're definitely different things, and especially when you're on the plane, I pass out with these guys literally all the time. I would hate to have these in one of my ears, pass out against the wall, and to have this guy fall out. The last thing you wanna do is look for AirPods on a plane 30,000 feet in the air, and you'll end up losing a pod, which kind of equates to 125 bucks. No one wants to do that. If I were to choose one, I'd probably go with the AirPods because I would wear these 90, 95% of the time. As I said, I only wear these guys when I fly and I'd use these every single day for making phone calls, going to the gym, just having them as regular headphones. They're good. 
they've still kept the OG AirPods. I think if you're eyeing those, get the one without the wireless charging case. Those will remain at 159. And if you do grab the pros, let me know down below in the comments and just please do not lose these things. That will be a pricey replace bill. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of the AirPod Pros and just don't flex too hard on the rest of the people that don't end up grabbing them. Face.